Welcome back to Rockin' A Adventures. My name is David, if you don't know me. My wife Lisa is around. She's uh, working the camera right now. And she's going to help me out. So what we're going to do today is continue fixing things on the Jeep that we have broken. Uh, well, these aren't technically broken, but our lower control arm brackets in the rear axle are folded in. They're stock brackets still. So I have some R-Tech brackets with a built-in skid plate on the bottom that's going to replace those and the shock lower shock mount. So stick around. If you like what we're doing here, share with all your buddies. Go ahead and subscribe and like, and let's get to it. All right, so check it out. This is the new one. which he already has on the other side. This is the old one that we took off on the other side. It was so bent up, he has to pry all this apart away from it because it curled over and then uh, cut it. We had to cut it off. Because <laughs> it's just so bent up. And as you can see, this new one is much thicker. We don't plan on having this problem again. So, he's down there pulling all this stuff back right now. Big difference. Pulled it back. Yeah, I've already got the sway bar loose. I'm just gonna pull the shock off here. Too. Yeah, we'll get it. Yeah, it's pinched. So I'm, I'm gonna need the pry bar to get it apart. All right. Sorry. <laughs> hey, yay! Now what's next? Next, I'm gonna remove the lower control arm bolt. I've already bent this out some, but I may have to bend it some more. We'll see once I we get this bolt loose. All right. Voila! Now let's see if it'll come out. <laughs> bolt to come out, but I don't know about that control arm yet. I don't think so. All right. Ah, it's not budging. I'm going to have to fight it some more. Yep. All right. He got the control arm out. Now we got to get all that cut off. All right, so we've got that bracket cut off. We got everything ground up nice and smooth. Now we are about ready to fit that up, get it tacked on. painted now it's just a matter of putting the shock back on hooking up my rear sway bar linkage I gotta tighten my control arm bolts 
So I think we're uh, almost there. with the shock. <clears throat> Need one more hand. Gotta tighten that one up there and we'll torque everything down on both sides. Then we'll go test it out. Well, we got the new lower control arms installed. I took them for a test drive about 10 miles. Everything feels fine. I don't think Lisa will have any problems uh, driving it to work tomorrow. But uh, let me show y'all what we got ended up with back here. We got the new lower control arms here in the rear. So we can bump it up here. It doesn't look like anything's rubbing or anything like that. So I think we're in good shape. If y'all like what I'm doing here, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you share with all your friends. Until next time, peace.